What the zone does is it lures, lures you into thinking that you have wide open three point shots. Oregon really does need to establish himself inside as Ducharme gets a bucket in one. Chuuri is in transition, pushing when they have an opportunity. What great confidence Caroline Ducharme is playing. This time, good passing around the perimeter. Finally, Sydney Parrish breaks the drought. He's very handy as far as assists are concerned. Averaging three and a half per game as a post player. Good ball reversal, pow pow! And Kristen Williams was one of the main focuses of the scout for Oregon. Jody Berry, the associate head coach, did the scout. That is bounced in. I'm setting a drag every time for Pow Pow if I'm a big coming down the floor. Terrific hustle by Watson. Pow Pow! An important contributor on this team, averaging almost 15 points per game unavailable in COVID protocol for the Huskies. Prince, nice catch! Making that 6 nothing run. Another playmaker gets back on the floor. Rogers hangs, draws the contact. And sometimes you do. I loved her energy yesterday in practice. She was vocal, you know, she was active, and that is a good sign for UConn. Number one, Sobley missed the first two seasons with knee injuries. Another three, this time it's Parrish. Check that sheer. When you have a player like Niara Sobley that can rebound the basketball, bring it down the floor. Score in transition. Uh, everybody hitting the deck. You don't want to try to get in a running game with Oregon if you're UConn. These are some possessions where you need to get it out and try to run offense. Stanford when they have the rematch. Nice look, Sobley to Pinto. Rogers gonna have to shoot. Good pass. Yep, instead she passes. Got it! Another three for Hurst! And she's good at it. And early in the season, she was having to, to handle the ball. She was having to run the point. And now India Rogers finds her. And again, they missed like the timing of when she gets the basketball is so important. It doesn't have to be that difficult, but that is a heck of a play. Well, I think this is, you know, you mentioned what, what, what happens next for UConn. I mean, this is a UConn this team as Pow Pow knocks in another three. She has. She's been solid. She's been aggressive. She's been a great leader. Yeah, she doesn't care that they're down 20. She's still working hard. 72-59, the second straight time they had taken him in convincing fashion, doing that also the last time they met.